thing about to happen next year, the Year's Eve. Um, this wee poem here is uh, a dedication to my native land, uh, which confusingly isn't the Uganda, in fact, again. <laughs> um, I really didn't get the tart on the message. Uh, so, it's called. Oh, well, come on, sing on a wee bit more, just a wee bit more, come on. Uh, we're setting the atmosphere for this. It's a short history of Scotland, you see, so keep it going, Joe. I look up the region. La, 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 la. Gas cools, forms the globe. We've got a planet. Nice hardens the rips, out bubbles the granite. In bringes, <coughs> sandstain, offing, ruckles. Bends loop up, jaggy, thrawn and muckle. Fikey and fertile in its youth. Earth gives birth in its deep, deep sooth. To Scotland! <laughs> as you'll need to ken, for here is no for here was then. <laughs> Dumped in the sea, no time for greeting. Our bairn seed gets a decent wheaten, a zillion euro banny duking while ancient continents are cooking. Huge land masses on the slide, Laurentia, Avalonia, collide! It isn't quite a tailor fitting, but this dunt melts us into Britain, just geologically speaking. <laughs> and we are still wheel doing by and beacon. <sighs> Dinosaurs roam the landlocked isles, new floating for 10,000 mile, fine big beasts, and then outdated. They'd know he liked being glaciated. <laughs> for its icy stung to grind and buff, then in comes lots of rich green stuff, and folk come dondering, that's us! We hunt together, cause nae fuss. Inhabited, Scotland's been chosen! Oh no, next ice age. Oh, but he's frozen. <laughs> Your culture stint, each glen skewered clean, but life sight ettlesome and keen. It's lichens, moss, and loads of bracken, birch trees, reindeer, then we're back in. It warms with spread without delay, just ask the folk at Scarabray, where builders new guys smelt with stains and marking wee hangs out of bains. <laughs> Jum in the sun is new and wish, up gone the rings, the stains of Callanish. Oh, sorry, up gone's the ring of Callanish. We chown a lot of eights and barley, we've got mere time to plan and parley, which means our trees or pines and aches begin to feel the sharp flint streaks. Ah the mochty wood of Caledon, ye monja loose, will soon he fawn. A new tribes dominate the land, and each end's got a conquest planned. Up gone the hill forts, swords and shields get by to gear the flocks and fields. Our innocence is in the past. Ambition needs a warrior cast. Are you a Briton or a Pict? Oops, here's the legions. <laughs> they licked. Still, here I hint the Roman was. Folk live, love, die, sun shines, rain falls. For the island comes a cousin tongue. And soon the young gods' hymns are sung. Next time you're third, the praying and chanting to him on high just works in Latin. <laughs> Help us awakens, wild and hairy, ne pint be nice, they will not spare you. While pits sit chittering in a broch, Norse loons drag ships to loch to loch. Soon all your isles they tump Norwegian, there's nae we are safe from Norse besieging, or nasty scraps with Anglo Saxons. There's weird alliances and factions. Pair <coughs> folks suffer, mace kings de quick. The climate though, it's in good nick. <laughs> Picked, save us at the nick and moss. Then get us through St Andrew's Cross when they beat Mick the Athelstain. Fantastic triumphs, but in vain, for all this bloody battle and fails. There's no competing way. The Gales. Columba only wanted peace, but knew the Scots demand the lease. It's grabbed with the McAlpin line. The best of Wayne's King Constantine. <laughs> Rarely heard of it, uh, quite a guy. <laughs> Nation who's sort of in the bag. Andrew's official, we wave his flag. Alba's been our chosen name. New Scotland starts to take a claim. So that's your medieval brand. With Malcolm Canmore in command. His Queen Maggie, being Hungarian, brings some continental manners in. Ha! <laughs> Young Eck the third. Gone soon to Largs. Big storm, wee battle. Gurgles, Args. Surviving Vikings, paddle him. So we are no nurse now, what a shame. 
Get social security system again, pensions are that. Get down for peasants, here's succeed. Then Eck falls off his horse, his deed. And what conquered its England stern with twenty years to banning burn. Pierre Wallace and Ed Langshank's noose. Come on, inspire, inspire the Bruce. <coughs> and plague to undermine the nation. <laughs> Bring on the Stuarts though. Oh, inspiring who this royal bunch keeps going. Oh, the Jameses. Here's the fourth year. Renaissance prince, he's good at all thing. Max a match with an English rose, then thefts her folk, and our blood flows and flows all day, and flood and stain with that of which your country's drained. Still it survives, and here's the thing. You'll I find a replacement king. <laughs> <laughs> Mind, during that reign, out of Britain, it's here for the best poems they're written. Ah. The Kirk reforms! Up pops John Knox! Stained glass against reforming rocks! Ah, Mary, you are queen! You'll ken her story. Romance, disasters, ending, glory. <laughs> Next! Near Wars! The Crown's united! No! Civil War! Stuart King indicted! <laughs> Montrose, one of my favourite historical characters by me, Marcus Montrose. Montrose, brave Marquis, kind, writes poems, kills mere Scots and their English foes. Hmm. <laughs> In battle lost, a broad hame snaffled, broad speech last poem, high street scaffold. He'd fawn full of the pub and hunters, but soon it's their turn for Miss Hunters. Extreme and thrawn, it seems they're pushing for martyrdom and persecution. There's worse, for New York Parliament is acting like its time is spent. Folk rouged a fizzing with ill temper as bribes beget the British Emperor. We'll darry in a stain of riches, the least wise we've stopped burning witches. <laughs> <laughs> but saying the breed word Jacobite stirs up all kinds of ethnic spite, till folly and Dramossi Muir, Culloden, the halo gildums on the skewer. It's speaking Scotch next gets folk frightened. Oh, frightened. <laughs> For once they went to soon then lightened all the nickies full of brilliant folk blethering through the reek, new smoke. But as Scots that young Rab Ferguson screams in the four hour early perishing, their sciences and philosophies and our third universities, and Ferguson's inspired Rab Burns to give vent in his Ayrshire tongue, then all the novels of what is Scots hit the global top sales slots. Are we amongst the world's best nations? Nah! Since we slavery's plantations, We've sent you half the overseers with whips draw out the bitter tears. Our here, Tam Muir the Democrats, hold off to us. Oh, that was a wee addition, I can't get that bit right, I'll miss that bit. Tam, you're a good lad, do I? So next time you'll hear a bit of it. As this could lead to certain tensions, it's time to list your great inventions. There's logarithms, chloroform, you'll ken them all a wondrous swarm. Scots education to the fore, and we've got coal and iron ore, black steward, bad grub, Greek lives, ill health, lang years, low wages, maester's wealth, bairns are for working, no for rearing. But folk all want Scots engineering. A separate nation, that soon's glake it. The empire's rich new, grab some, take it. At him though, dual fade disappearances, as clan chiefs distribute their clearances. Yin Duke gets statued up in Brora for helping mark your diaspora. Missionaries, lots of whiskey, Glasgow's the Empire's second city, a century of kilted sodgers, that's a lot of beltless badgers. <laughs> Scurl the bikes and raise a stew, vexed French and Russians and the boor, had he the fuck, or get the sums, that makes to us new living slums. And then we're battling with a hun, it's healing laddie trenches fun, as our man Haig joins up the Dutch, the song goops up the Royal Scots. And it's Elsie Ingalls, Red Clyde side, and John McLean against the tide. A hero's land, nay ill suggestion. So let's bring on the Great Depression. And all your famed industrialisation doesn't quite support the nation. We're fit by daft though. We're at same inventors of the passing game. <laughs> Yinst we gralloch the English gizzards. Ah, cooler yet, the Wembley wizards. 1928-51 was the score. <laughs> Yin last great mission for the Empire, staking out the Nazi vampire. Then, <coughs> Labour gets to write the stories. Why so many Glesky Tories? Well, they've got their own colour scheme in politics. It's orange-green. Look back at Harlan's detection to spot the Irish-Scots connection. 
and breaking half still aft the bile till sudden like it's Scotland's Isle. An obvious half life solution, though what a task is devolution. As folk stand vigil in the rain and all sang kindles up again. This history makes no seem fair, there's something needs a wee bit mere. And that's the role that women played in our unfolding masquerade. Some wasted firm while cruelty raged, were tortured, misused or encaged. Some hailed like the Countess of Buchan, but maze for pitied mill or clacking. All kinds of folk, fray all the world, knew help the saltire to unfurl. New borderers, fifers, Hebrideans, are they Scots, Brits or Europeans? Could the Brehan seers e perceiving awing hope to see if Britain's best or Scotia free can all roots feed your sapling tree? What is the weir that we maun dree? Will wave power pay your nation's fee? Dunnocks, beef goose, barley brie, Edinburgh festival, Tyree, what's best, the world class or the we? Will we all learn to Nordic ski or tumble feckless doing the scree? That's me tumbling feckless doing the scree again. Well, we're going. <laughs> What can we shape? What just must be? As this unshare clan Jamfari would bring Calgacus, the great British hero, to his knee. I'll close, but leave the yet a G for some bard better far than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh,